Hello and welcome back for another Photoshop tutorial. I'm Kara Plichinich and I'm excited because this week, this particular font, Golden Life, is available for free download. So I've got a link to that in the description below. And I just was really excited because it has a lot of cool features and it's free. So I just kind of wanted to spread the word because a lot of people don't know about all the cool features that fonts like this have. And oftentimes the free fonts don't have all of these features. So it was kind of a big deal and I just wanted to help people discover it. So here's what we're gonna work with today. So I've got this document you can see that I've got um, the word human and the word kind on each on their own layer over here. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and change this from what it looks like just straight out of the box to what the designer designed it for. So we can have some fun with this and it's super easy to do. So this font is coded really well so that you can do this. I can put my cursor in here and click to highlight this H, capital H, and then it shows me down here all these other capital H's that I could also use. So I'm gonna click on this one and you can see it gets applied. If I move over and select the U, there's a number of available U's. I am going to keep moving and actually keep my U by the default one. And I'll move over here to this M and choose something a little bit simple because I'm gonna get fancier with this N. Maybe we'll make this one curl up like that. All right, that looks good. We'll move on to kind, and I'm gonna leave the K alone, and I'm gonna select this I, and we're gonna get really fancy with this I, like bam, all the way super fancy. I'm gonna leave the N alone because the I is already so fancy. And we'll move over here and select a D. And I'm gonna go with this one. Perfect. And now I'm happy with all of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and commit this. So it's important to know that you basically just have to try stuff. Like, you know, you try one of the fancy Ks and see how it looks with one of the I's. And then it's just like a giant puzzle of putting together pieces until you get them how you like them. So one thing I am gonna do though, is come up here into the word human, and this period is kinda hanging out a little far for my taste um, from the end of the N here. So I want it to match the space between the period and the D here. So I'm gonna stick my cursor in between the N and the period. I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt on my keyboard and press my left arrow key to just tuck that in a little bit. So I feel better about that. So I'll commit it and I might grab my move tool and just nudge it over a little. And there we go. So we're almost done. And then we're going to add a couple of other finishing details. I also have a line of type that says B both. And this font is called East Liberty Signature. It's not free right now, unfortunately, but um, it is available. I use it a ton and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description uh, for anyone who cares. And then I'm going to click to add this little um, hairline stroke around the whole thing. And then because it's super fun, I'm gonna grab my custom shape tool come up in here to my control panel, click this drop down, and you can see there's a lot of shapes here, but I scroll down and I'm gonna select this heart, and we'll put the stroke to zero and the fill to the same color as the typeface, and then we'll zoom in so we can see. Oh. There we go. And I'm gonna just Put a little bitty, try to make it about the size of the periods, this little heart right here. And I just think that's kind of a sweet, a sweet little touch. So there you have it. When you have a well-designed and well-coded font, it's really easy to make the most of it. Hit me up at karaplichinich.com to check out my full library of in-depth courses. And while you're there, grab my free creative toolkit, an ever-growing collection of Photoshop actions, templates, 
design assets, and more. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again at the next tutorial.